And it's also possible to have a system of equations with infinitely many solutions. And let's look at an example. y equals 2x minus 4 and negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 8. And let's watch what happens when we graph this. All right, first y equals 2x minus 4. This has a y-intercept of negative 4 and then a slope of 2. So we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Okay, that's pretty easy to graph. So sketch that in. Okay, and then the other one, a negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 8. This is in standard form, and the, the technique for graphing this is to find the intercepts. So first, let's set x equal to 0, and when we set x equal to 0, that goes away, and we're left with 2y is equal to negative 8. So you can see that y has to be negative 4. So that gives us this point right down there, y is negative 4. Okay, it looks like we found our intersection point right there. But let's finish graphing this. We set x, equals, x equal to 0 and found the y-intercept. Now let's set y equal to 0 and get the x-intercept. If y is 0, then that term goes away and we have negative 4x equals negative 8. So let's write that. When y equals 0, we have negative 4x equals negative 8, so that means uh, x has to equal 2. Okay, that's this point right here. Look at that. If we connect those points, we get this line right here. Look, the exact same line. So these two equations are actually the same line. So what is the solution? Well, any point on that line satisfies this equation or satisfies that equation because they're really the same equation. They're, they're mathematically equivalent. So every point on the line satisfies both equations. So we can say there are actually infinitely many solutions. So this system of equations isn't really a system of equations. It's really, really just one equation written in two different forms. But if you think of each of those forms as, as a as an equation and think of this as a system of equation it, it has infinitely many solutions. So here's a summary of what we have so far. There are three possibilities whenever we have a system of two equations. The three possibilities are that the lines intersect and the solution is the point where the lines intersect. And that's really the most common case. The lines intersect and the solution is the point where the lines intersect. But then these other two special cases are also possibilities. Number two, the lines are parallel, therefore there is no solution. The lines are parallel, therefore there is no solution because there is no point where the lines intersect if they are parallel. And then the third option is that the two lines are actually the same line, in which case there are infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. And you can just write that. You can use the infinity symbol. You can say that there are infinity solutions. And the infinity symbol looks like an 8 turned on its side. But that's it. Those are the three possibilities and all three of those should make sense.